And in this video, I want to uh, help you if you uh, have the best intentions. It's the first of the year, right? Uh, a lot of New Year's resolutions. Maybe you decided uh, this was going to be the time uh, that you took your fitness to the next level, right? But you just can't get yourself going. You're inconsistent with your efforts. And uh, again, for something that you want to do, what can you do when you just can't get yourself going? You know, you must, you want to, you have to, you got people counting on you. All right. Uh, there's three things that you need to have and you ha need to have it at a really high level in order for you uh, to follow through, to be consistent, because it really does not matter how effective, how powerful the training strategies that I are for you. Right, I wanted to get you up to uh, my level of experience and knowledge in 32 years. That's what I do with these videos. I want to get you here. And even if you've only been training in the gym a couple of years, even though you're a little bit older, right? I, I want to help you. I want to help you get to a high level faster through the art of communication here, right? Not making it overly complicated, but I'll tell you, uh, even if I do a brilliant job of explaining the most effective and efficient strategies and convincing you and, and persuading you uh, that these workout strategies, uh, these eating strategies, uh, these systems uh, for you, uh, they'll work within your timeframes with your priorities, all right? Help you build muscle and lose body fat at this age. It doesn't matter how effective they are if you can't consistently put enough energy and effort into it. So the best strategies in the world won't work. If you don't, just don't put enough firepower into them and you don't do it consistently. And if you know, you know that, I mean, you're successful uh, in other areas. You know, if your family or business, you probably on the job, you have your coworkers, people who, who work with you. A lot of guys have the best intentions. They're just missing that uh, mental edge even though they have the best intentions, they can't figure it out and um, you're trying to help them. Well, when it comes to fitness, um, same principles to success and want to make that connection for something you already know just when it comes to fitness. Why is uh, getting in shape, building that muscle, looking good, looking better in the mirror, right? Losing that body fat. Why is that so important to you, right? The reason why you're doing it, it has to be clear and it has to be strong. And you got to believe it. It's got to be clear, strong, and believable, right? Not that you should, right? Uh, you must. And I'll, I'll tell you this. Uh, what really gets us motivated sometimes is we fear something. There's a just, you know, uh, we fear uh, not being healthy and being around for our family. That pain, it really gets us to do things we wouldn't do that, you know, are optional. I should do it. Be, hey, it'd be great if I could just look better, Right. It's usually when uh, when we just are in a fear mode uh, that that's what gets us to do what we know we should do and do it on a consistent basis and put a little bit more firepower into it, right? So whatever your why is, you want to be healthy, fit, look great, th that's all great, but also use the pain that you want to avoid. Sometimes that can be a lot more powerful, right? A lot of times, you know, when I, I, I coach a lot of men and I can certainly help them with the training and the eating and put it all together, right? And fit it into their lifestyle and keep them accountable through my weekly coaching. And if you're interested in that, let me know. I've got a, a way for you to reach out to me uh, that I'll talk about at the end of this video, right? A lot of times there's other things going on. Maybe they're disconnected from their kids. Uh, maybe their uh, marriage right? There's a sense of loneliness or whatever it is, all right? Uh, where other areas are going great, you know, maybe the job, maybe uh, they're having financial issues or stress at the job, right? There's really other issues besides the fitness. And in their mind, they think, okay, well, you know, I'm working on that. Uh, but, you know, if I just got in shape and I felt better about myself, it would solve all those other challenges, the disconnect from their family or, or the money challenges, Right now, if you believe that to be true, if you believe going to the gym and being consistent and, and, and looking great and feeling great, if you believe that connection, you do that will get you closer to, uh, again, that connection that you want. All right. Uh, getting your family in order, feeling more in control of that, uh, your business, that stress level, finances, uh, issues that maybe challenge you. If you believe that, then it will work. But a lot of times, men, they just 
They know they should get in shape, but they just don't believe that getting in shape is actually uh, going to help them with what's most pressing right, in their life. And it's really that issue. They need to really attack that first. And then when they come in and do the, the eating, uh, that works out a, a lot better. All right. It's usually all those other issues. I, I know that the thought process is when I get in shape, I'm going to be fit and strong and confident and I'm going to be able to tackle all those challenges. I, I know that's kind of the promise that you make to yourself, but really, you know, with less body fat and more muscle and learning how to train, is that a strategy that's really going to have you a more uh, connected in your relationships or gain more control of your family or make more money? Because those take other strategies. So a lot of times you may not be convinced uh, that getting in shape and looking good and, and feeling more healthy and having more energy, you're just not convinced. That's really going to solve your biggest challenge. So your why has to be really strong. It has to be clear and you have to believe it. That's really important. So that why, and don't, don't be afraid to go dark. All right. And, and feel that pain because it, it won't, once you get yourself going, Right, and you're there on a consistent basis, and that that pain that got you going, you're not going to have to live that all the way to get in shape and keep it forever. It just gets you going. We just got to get you going. Uh, when you realize it's moving more, eating less, uh, simple things that you know to do, you'll continue it. And then once you go, then you'll build that momentum. But we got we got to get you going first. All right, all right. So the second thing, so one is that you know your why has to be strong, and if it, it has to be. Uh, strong, it has to be clear, and it has to be believable. But also when it comes to uh, the training and the eating strategies, there's so much information. I know that's out there. I try to simplify this, uh, really pound the basic for you, make it clear, sell you, persuade you so you feel confident with it. Again, I know you're getting it from the younger passion fitness experts that you know have uh, all day to think about this that you don't, not with your values, not your priorities, everything you got going. You know, I, I posted uh, on my Facebook page about you know, hitting the muscle, training it hard, and then resting, and then doing it again. So I think the title was uh, uh, Train Hard, Rest, Train Hard Again. And so he said, hey, that sounds like if you're an athlete, if you live in the gym, you can, you know, uh, train, rest, and train again. I got other things to do in my life, 12-hour workdays. I just left that part out. Of course, we have to do that. I was just talking about the muscle building process, right? I, I know we have more to it. All of this information is to be effective with your willpower, focus, energy, and time. I know how precious that is to you without all the excess, all right? But you have to believe, even though with all the distraction, everything you hear, well, I heard it was this way. I used to do it this way, all right? Whatever strategy, you got to believe in it. I mean, you're not going to believe in anything probably 10 out of 10 all the time, but it's got to be up there. Six or a seven level, I, I think this will work. It's just not enough willpower. It's just not enough energy into the strategy that you're using. Again, it could be the greatest strategy in the world. But if you don't believe it's going to help you reach your goals, that could be the issue. Well, I'm going to do this. He seems like he knows what he's talking about. I'm not sure. Um, I'll let these strategies prove to me that they'll work. It just doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way in life, and you know that. You got to get yourself to believe. And if you don't believe, wait until you believe, all right? <laughs> or find something that you believe in. Find a mentor who you believe in. Take that leap of faith. So you put a 10 out of 10 energy into it. Because if you don't believe it, it's not going to work and be the, be the greatest strategy in the world. All right? So the second thing is you got to believe in the systems, the strategies, the eating, the workouts that you're doing. Uh, and that's going to get you going. Right? That's going to get you going. That belief in what you're doing. Right? And the third thing is your expectations. What do you expect from your efforts? If those expectations, all right, just because you want it, just because it appears that that person does this, this, and this, and they got this muscle and this body fat and this amount of time, that may be totally untrue. That's just what you think. But how would you know? How would you know that your expectations are way off? That's not how the muscle building process works. Uh, the scale does not tell you how you're progressing. That's a bad measure, right? And your lack of weight gain does not mean that you're not doing a great job in progressing. You just don't know. Or if you think you're losing too much weight and you think you're losing muscle, you just don't know what to expect and it's all off, right? If you think that you should be getting stronger in the gym or doing more reps, all right, you know, or you should be getting a pump. I'm not getting a pump. I'm not feeling sore anymore. 
If you do not know what to expect, you can be doing everything right and winning the game. But it feels like you're losing and a stop is going to it's going to just it's going to just uh, make your uh, motivation to train. It's just going to dissipate just because your expectations you just don't know how it really works. So many men do not know how the process works. Simple things on how to get the most out of every set. What's important? Changing your routine. Is that is it? Does reps get you ripped? Right. How long should it take? Hey, I didn't gain any weight. I lost too much weight. I lost. My it's not how it appears. I'm telling you that so many men and they look pretty good. The, pro the challenge is if you've been working out for two years <laughs> or even less sometimes and you've been somewhat consistent, you look better than most men your age. So what you've done has put you in the top 20 percent. But you and I know those other guys aren't even working out. And it really didn't take that much knowledge. You just grinded it th through and you got to this level, not to where you want. So that success, it got you here, but it's not going to get you to the next level. Right. A lot of men don't know what to expect. They're winning. They're doing right. They just don't know it. All right. So those are some things you got to think about. What is your why? Is it clear? Is it strong? Is it believable? Number two, do you believe in the training and eating strategies that you've adopted? Do you believe in them enough to get the most out of them? Again, they could be the best strategies in the world, but if you don't believe in them, you don't have enough firepower to make them work. And number three, what are your expectations? Are you winning? You just don't know it. You just think that guy does this, this, and this. He looks this way, and you did all that, and you should have it too, and it's not working, so it's uh, really destroying your, your motivation. That's why you can't get yourself going. I want to help you with all of this. I'm going uh, to extend an offer, all right? So if you're the type of man who does what it takes to get what he wants, right? You're not just someone watching a lot of videos. Hey, this is cool stuff. I mean, you're really, you want this badly. All right, I'm going to post a link down below, and this is the offer that I'm going to make. And I, I don't know if I'll do this for one person or 10. It really depends on who I talk to, all right, what your situation, how much energy you can make. I'll help you out either way, all right? And the, the great thing about this, you think, well, this, he's going to get hundreds of men to do that. How can he do it all? Well, you know what? There, really, there aren't hundreds of men. So if you're one of the special ones to even take action, to give yourself a shot, to, to believe that maybe I can be one who gets this special attention, you're in a select group. The competition may not be as tough as you might think, right? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post my phone number for you to text me, 925-352-4366. We're going to start it there. Just introduce yourself to me. Just say, Skip, I really want this badly. I can't get myself going. I listened to uh, your, uh, your video about how to get yourself going. I need some help getting clear, some believable strategies. And what are the expectations? I think my expectations are off. If you think what I talked about applies to you, I want you to reach out. First, text me. Again, 925-352-4366. I'll post that down in the comment section. All right, introduce yourself. All right. I'm going to send you a link, and I'll put the link down below too, a link to a questionnaire for some very simple questions. It'll tell me where you are right now. What do you think the challenges are? How long have you been doing this? I, I help so many men like you. It'll just uh, really uh, shorten the learning process of where you are right now using all my experience by you uh, filling out this questionnaire. It'll get you really clear on where you're at too, just filling out this questionnaire. It'll be a good mental exercise. If this is important to you, you really want uh, to take your fitness to the next level. Right, I'm gonna have you text me a picture. A picture tells me a thousand words. I can tell how long you've been training. I can tell what your diet's been like, how long you've been at it, right? Uh, the amount of weight that you lift. You might think you lift heavy weight or light weight. I can tell doing this for 32 years, going through the process, helping literally thousands of older men just like you. A picture does indeed tell me a thousand words. You're probably great at what you do right? For the business, the service, the value you provide others, right? You've been doing it forever and they come to you. It's, you know, that's why they're coming to you. And, you know, they just tell you a few things, boom, you use your experience, you know exactly how to help them. Well, believe it or not, that's the level of expertise I have helping you. I know you're great at your business. You know what I'm talking about. Um, it's kind of frustrating that this fitness is challenging. I know how that is, but it's just missing a few things. And that's what I want to help you with. So I'll have you send me a picture, right? So you're going to text me at 925-352-4366. Introduce yourself. I'm going to send you a link to a questionnaire that you'll fill out. Tell me more about yourself. You're going to send me a picture, right? I'm going to call you and um, 
and, and talk to you. If you're going to take the time to do that, I'll reach out and I'll, I'll talk to you. I'll do whatever I can to help you. But for a select few, and I don't know if this will be one or 10 or however many, it's really about your energy, right? Uh, this is special because this is 90 minutes with me and an hour and a half, an hour and a half, right? So obviously I can't do this for everyone, but like I said, not very men. Uh, there are a lot of men talk, uh, not a lot of men do, right? And a lot of men don't expect the best from situations. They say, oh, I'll never be the person. So again, the competition uh, for one of these 90 minute uh, consultations, right? These clarity sessions really help you with your mind and strategies. Uh, really, I don't necessarily expect a lot because there aren't really a lot of men like that, right? But again, the men who I cater to, if you hear uh, how I describe about uh, the men who I help, uh, they're the type of men who take action, right? So in this 90-minute clarity session, I'm going to take you through a goal-setting session. Again, it's going to be an hour and a half. I want you to be tucked away, not driving, Right, tucked away in a room because I want you to really, it's going to be an emotional journey. I'm going to get you connected to why this is important to you, what's stopping you, uh, what it's going to feel like to finally break through, why you must do it now. 90 minutes, if you, if you know about uh, about uh, my, my skill sets, uh, what I've spent my time learning and mastering. Well, obviously, the bodybuilding as a six time national champion and drug free bodybuilder, the writer, the coach, helping out men. But in the personal development mindset, you can probably notice I weave it into everything that I do. You're going to get that in this 90 minutes. All right. So post down below if you're interested in this. All right. Uh, tell me you're going to text me. I'll, I'll see you in the comment section. You can watch this in the replay version too. All right. I'm going to be taking these for the next couple of days. Whenever you listen to it, give it a shot. All right. So I want to take you from one of these. I want to take you through one of these 90 minute clarity sessions. All right. You really get a chance to get to know you inside and out. And, um, if you don't win uh, one of the 90 minute sessions, I'll, I'll spend the time talking to you, get you clear, kind of reiterating and going over these uh, three points to get you going. All right. And, and your particular circumstance will do whatever I can to help you. All right. So uh, that's going to do it for this workouts for the men live. I hope you take action that this is important. I want to help you, right? Maybe talking to you for 90 minutes, one of these clarity sessions. All right. So let's take on the day with a sense of urgency. We have to when we're a little bit older. We got more time behind us than we do in front of us. So let's train, work out with a sense of urgency. Let's eat right to support it with a sense of urgency. All right, let's produce at the job with a sense of urgency. Love, connect our legacies at stake. Again, when we're a little bit, bit older, we got more time behind us than we do in front of us. Have a great day.